They're African wild dogs. And today, their newest members are experiencing the world beyond their den for the very first time. The five two-month-old puppies are the offspring of another remarkable matriarch. Phoenix, the alpha female and ruler of this pack. Studied by scientists, she wears her radio collar like a piece of regal jewelry. She's timed the pup's emergence from the den perfectly, as the land here has received plenty of rain. And that means lots of prey within strategic reach of the pack. The fact that Phoenix's youngsters exist at all is a minor miracle. Five years ago, wild dogs in this area were virtually wiped out by an outbreak of canine distemper. The sole survivor was Phoenix. She allied herself with dogs from the south and built this 17-strong pack, saving the species here. Every dog counts, even one that's sick. As the land dries, she'll need all her skills as mother, hunter and leader to keep them alive. It's midday in Samburu. The vegetation is lush and green. But it won't stay that way for long. Alongside the water, an army is on the march. An army of baboons. They patrol the banks in search of titbits from the river. But they need to be wary of the resident crocodiles. Babies born at this time of year are the lucky ones. Lots of food and water, and plenty of young friends to hang out with. Anastasia is leading her family away from the river. She brings them to a mud wallow. It's great fun to slip and slither around but mud is also important for their sensitive skin. It not only helps elephants cool down, but provides a protective layer, shielding them from insect bites and sunburn. Elephants need to eat around 130 kilos of food a day. So Anastasia, Alexei and her family spend at least 12 hours every day feeding. That's no problem now, but after such light rains, dry patches are already appearing. The royals are 50 elephants strong, including the matriarch sisters, sons and daughters, nieces and nephews. This is Alexi's best opportunity to socialize with other young bulls. Right now, his life is all about fun and friendship. These relationships 
will last a lifetime. So it's a great chance for him to bond with his peer group. The tussles, chases and play fights are preparing the youngsters for later life. Once Alexei becomes a teenager, he'll have to leave the herd and join a bachelor group until he becomes a mature breeding male, a must bull. But for the moment, Alexei is definitely at the bottom of the pecking order. Despite the poor rains, green still dominates the landscape of northern Kenya. This time of plenty is the perfect moment to bring young into the world. Surrounded by food and water, parents can take a welcome break from chasing the rains. Instead, they can focus on their offspring teaching them who to trust and who to avoid. In a boy show, three-year-old Coletta has a huge responsibility. Four precious cheetah cubs, all fathered by the leader of the Tanobora. Female cheetahs bring up their young alone, and Coletta's done well to get them even this far. On average, only one in 20 cubs makes it to adulthood. Coletta's never raised a litter before. She's doing well. All four cubs are thriving. The two males and two females are growing in confidence by the day, exploring, playing, and practicing their fledgling hunting skills. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.